Hello everybody, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at a new feature in Autodesk 3ds Max 2009 and that is the Info Center. If the Info Center is not already displayed on your screen, go to Customize, Show UI. I'm going to have to move this over a little bit so you can see this fully. Customize, Show UI, and Show Floating Toolbars. And this brings up a lot of floating toolbars. All of them happen to be outside the area of the screen that I'm recording. I'm only recording a small portion of my screen here. So I'll just drag a few of those back into the area that you can see. And the one you want is the Info Center. So you can just click to close the others. I'll bring this back into the recording area here. And if you wish, you can just dock this up at the top there. The Info Center is basically a search functionality. So one of the main things you might want to do here, as it says, is type a keyword or phrase. So for example, I might type biped. And then I can click on the magnifying glass. And it comes up with a long list of possible help topics. Notice it searches help, it searches tutorials, it searches the Max script reference, and there are also a number of other references that it's searching. So one thing I can do is just go to any one of these, highlight it, and click on it. And that brings up the help topic that I just chose. Clicking on that again. Another thing I can do is go over here and you see this little circle here. If I click on that, the circle turns into a yellow star. And this is the, I really don't get this and I know I'm going to have to be looking at this help topic over and over again button, or as we like to call it, the favorites button. Once you put something on your favorites, you can click on this star here and there's the item that you starred previously. Right next to the favorite button here is the communication center. Click on that and it will bring you any new product support information that you might need. In this case, there isn't any. No news is good news. Right here you can click and you get a number of links to the same things that you could search within. You can just bring up the documentation directly. You can also go to Autodesk Online. You could add a search location. And this is where you can configure the Info Center itself under Search Settings. Click on that and here you have your settings. So for example, you're able to determine what the search locations are, whether you want to search all these. So for example, maybe you don't want to search back burner by default, or you don't want to search web locations. You can deselect those and then just click OK. So that's a short introduction to the Info Center, a new feature in 3ds Max 2009, which can be quite helpful when you need help with a 3ds Max function.